So today's Mad Monday pedal day. We're looking at two Boss Turbo pedals. One's a OD2 Turbo Overdrive. And you can plug in a rem remote. This is the rare remote version. They did versions without the remote. Then we've got here, the Turbo Distortion, the DS2. Now this is no ordinary DS2. This is an original Japanese Boss Turbo DS2 distortion pedal. So I've got these two pedals for one, they're both vintage Boss pedals now. This pedal, they don't make it anymore. It was discontinued in 1994. It came out in 1985. Originally made in Japan without the remote. Then switched to Taiwan later in uh, 1990. And then 1990 onwards to 94, they stopped producing it. Obviously there was some leftovers, which carried on to the, the next year or so. But 1994 is when they stopped making this pedal. It's due for an upgrade, in my opinion. It's one of the most underrated boss pedals of all time. This is my opinion. So please, you know, experience it for yourself. Don't take it gospel. But I think it's a great pedal. And I love that it's got the remote. Now this. This is original Boss DS2. Some people say there's a difference between the Japanese model and the current modern model or any Taiwan model which came after. This dates back to 1988. The DS2 originally came out in 1988 and it moved to Taiwan in 1990. Uh, some of the Taiwan ones are probably the same inside as the Japanese one because it's just leftovers. Um, so yeah, I know you can see made in Japan. The serial numbers inside it dates back to 1988. Originally, that's when the pedal came out. So the current models are completely different. Some people say. I've experienced current models and I have noticed a difference with some of the newer ones, the newer DS2s. I've sold them on because I've never really got on well with the DS2. I've just never, never really liked it as much. Um, the only time I did like it is when I started experimenting with pedals and getting into pedals. Before I experienced the DS2 and the Soul Food, I was never really into pedals. I used to plug into a guitar and an amp and use some cheap pedal if I had one lying around or just one pedal. You know, I was never really into pedals, but now I'm, I love them. I love pedals. So yeah, it's, it's, it can be a bad habit as well, getting into pedals. But I mean, is there really a difference with this? I mean, in mode one from experience in this original one, it sounds more like a DS one which they said they were going for, originally Boss. But the modern ones sound nothing like a DS1, in my opinion. Sounds a bit plasticky. But I'll let you do, guys decide. Comment below, see what you think. And uh, this pedal's uh, great. Uh, I'm debating whether to sell this or keep it. Uh, I like it. So I might just keep it. It's underrated, definitely. Definitely underrated. But people are starting to know how good they were. And when people start to know, that's when things and prices can get silly. And that's when they start to make reissues or Waza craft versions and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get on with the video. I'm using my strap. It's a vintage strap as well now. It's from 1986, 1987. It's one of them... Uh, E series early Korean Japanese parts strapped. So I've got the pedal plugged in. 
These Japanese models, there's not many about uh, because the pedal uh, was only, you know, produced 1988. And uh, by then they were kind of ready to ship to Taiwan and making boss pedals in Taiwan. Um, but I mean, to collectors, the Japanese model is a sought after pedal. Um, is it worth the price? I don't know. But all I know is in mode one, there's definitely a difference. Um, I mean, it's, it's more raunchy. It sounds more like a normal DS1. When, but then you could go to, you know, eBay or the, the marketplace and probably pick up a DS1 for like 30 quid if you shop round or 40 quid. So, I mean, it, it's a bit heavy for what I like. I mean, I, lo I love prints and I love Red Hot Chili Peppers as well, some of the stuff. Um, but uh, Red, Hot Chili Red Hot Chili Peppers, definitely overrated in my opinion. I mean, I love Prince. I think he's fantastic. He is known to use this pedal and I'm sure there's other people. I mean, Kurt Cobain used it later on in 1992. So his version would be a Taiwan version if he brought his in 1992 so uh, but yeah I mean he only bought his pedal just because his DS1 was absolutely broken um, and it's very rare for a boss pedal to actually get that broken um, it takes a lot of lot of beating but yeah so what I'm gonna do I'm putting it into mode one I'm putting the distortion 11 o'clock, the tones at 11 o'clock, the levels at 11 o'clock. Uh, and I'm just going to turn on the pedal. This is, um, this is my tone uh, without no reverb off the amp. Um, yeah, E flat, neck pick up. <laughs> in my opinion compared to a new one but comment below if you notice any difference or if you've bought both in the past and you know what I mean um, I mean some of these pedals I don't think there's no difference between a Japanese one and a Taiwan one this one certainly no difference if anything there's the uh, the remote Taiwan one is better and it, it is rarer uh, because it's got that remote uh, they did make some Taiwan ones, early Taiwan ones, without the remote. But, uh, yeah. I mean... I'm going to go to the bridge position. Sounds like I'm playing a original Boss DS one. So I've got the tone knob at eleven o'clock as well. That's the best position for a Boss DS one. If you go any further than that, it gets too fizzy. But if I uh, go to mode two, the same settings. <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, it definitely sounds a, 
different and a little bit better than uh, than the modern ones. I think I'd have to get a modern one again to compare it, but is it worth the price? I don't think so. I mean, this, this pedal's not for me anyway. I prefer an overdrive pedal. I like overdrive pedals. I like tube screamers, you know. Um, so in mode two, it's like a cocked wah type sound. Um, if I turn the distortion to two o'clock, this is what you get. Tube Screamer, this pedal doesn't stack as nice as a blues driver or like a blues breaker would probably be better with this type of pedal. Um, yeah, I mean, we can do that. We can add a little bit. What we can do, leave that setting where it is. We're in mode two, distortions at two o'clock, tones at 11 o'clock, levels at 11 o'clock and it's been staying there for the entire video. What we're gonna do is put a drop bit of dirt off my Vox amp I'm using, the VT40X. Uh, this is the sound, neck position. <laughs> settings but in mode one <laughs> just for an experiment uh, with the similar settings. Let's put the level at one o'clock. Let's put the tone at 11 o'clock. Let's put the drive to a clock. We'll leave it in the turbo mode, yeah? And we'll do exactly the same thing. This is the amp tone, bridge position. Turbo distortion, turbo overdrive.
sounds better to me. My opinion. Um, so yeah, I mean, you could just gig with a bit of dirt off your amp. <laughs> So, I mean, let's go to mode one. Let's do exactly the same thing as what we did on the turbo distortion. Which position on the guitar? to the turbo distortion because that's what we're here for but I mean this pedal is man a sleeper you know um, I mean you can pick them up Japanese models cheap even today I mean absolutely sleeper. I mean the turbo distortion the original Jap one uh, has always been a bit of a hype because you know, there's been some famous guitar players, um, and obviously one of them was Kurt Cobain, used it. But I don't think he used a Japanese model. Uh, like I said, he bought it in 1992. So it would have been a Taiwan model. Well, he was probably given it by boss. But yeah, I mean, in my opinion, the overdrive just blew it a lot more. <laughs> right to the top uh, and he used to use the, the distortion right to the top so I'm going to finish this video with a little bit of a Nirvana sort of thing going on um, and we're going to leave it there um, I mean both of the pedals actually stack really well together the turbo overdrive and the turbo distortion so you know go out and buy both and try them yourself if you fancy it I mean don't pay silly prices just for a Japanese model I mean you know this just came lucky to me so i mean just, just you know just do hear the whole noise we're gonna go.
like and subscribe to the channel, Lost Groove Music. Hope you've enjoyed the video, bit of fun. Yeah, thank you very much. Tune in, Mad Monday Pedal Day, every Monday.